Hello class and welcome to our third lecture series on Management Essentials and I'm your instructor Dr. Jamal. So today we are starting a new chapter. So in our previous lecture we talked about the management decisions right making decisions how managers make decisions right so in our previous lecture we talked about different kind of, of stuff and now the emerging new technology you know ai machine learning is helping us to make decisions and now we further extend our previous lecture and we talked about and we are now talking about influence on the managerial decisions of external environment and organizational culture so the idea behind that is that if managers make decisions according to their skills their knowledge their abilities and they don't make any bias bias you know so even then what factors affect managerial decisions right so in an organization if this is an organization and you are here you are making decisions so first you have the ability to be a manager that's your own skill and when you are taking decisions, the organization itself influences the decision and outer factors are also going to affect your decision. So in our previous lecture, we talked about, we finished our discussion here. What kind of skills you have to make decisions? Right, recall if you can remember structured problems, unstructured problems. We talked about different kind of skills, different kind of like you know, decision making skills and how to avoid biases, just like that. So now we talk about this stuff. So today's learning objective is contrast the actions of managers according to omnipotent view, symbolic view, describe challenges, constraints facing managers in today's external environment discuss the characteristics and importance of organizational culture so let's just talk about the number one so how much difference does a manager make in how an organization performs so the dominant view the dominant view is that managers are directly responsible for an organization's success or failure if organization is giving you good profits, achieving the targets, achieving the long-term goals, short-term goals as well, so all the credit is because of the good management decisions. So everything are on the shoulder of manager. But symbolic view, it says that much of the organization's success or failure is due to external forces outside managers control which looks legit right right so same situations occur in different kind of organizations same decisions are making by the different organizations managers but outcome is different right so it means there is some kind of stuff which scientists social scientists good managers you know those who have a lot of experience they are talking about the symbolic view that not everything is in control in in managers control so it means managers should be responsible only for what which they have only control so those stuff or those decisions that are not in control of manager managers must not be held accountable 
So what are the managerial constraints? These are, let's talk about through this diagram. These are organizational culture and organizational environment. So, but before you must be able to have those skills so that you can make decisions. Okay, when you are making decisions, there is one thing that you, you that you should include in your decision making, which affect your decision making, organization culture and environment. So let's just talk about the environment. So environment means forces outside of the organization that could potentially affect the organization performance. Which means organizations are not performing in vacuum. There are going to be hundreds of factors that can affect organizations in varying degrees, right? So part of manager's job is to identify the key factors and determine how to respond to all those factors, if at all. So. The environment has two dimensions. Number one, degree of change and degree of complexity. So if you see this matrix, each cell identifies where your organization is and how you look at this organization. So first, let's talk about the second. First, we talk about the degree of environment, right? The second one is degree of change so degree of environment you see from here complex to simple complex to simple so environmental co complexity looks at number of components in an organization and extent of knowledge the organization has about those components so just think about that all those factors that affect managerial decisions but you cannot control that what can be those factors if you imagine yourself being a manager maybe environmental good if you imagine yourself being a manager and you are making decisions it means some factors that are not in your control if something happen, you should change according, accordingly. So those factors are economic, demographic, political, social, culture, technological, global. So it means if there are more factors, it means environment is more complex. If, or if there is a less factors, it means it is simple. All right. So let's talk about the degree of change. So degree of change from dynamic to stable. So what do we mean by dynamic environment? In a dynamic environment, the components in organization environment, they are changing. So look at that here. There are many numbers of factors that affect the environment plus those environmental factors external environmental factors are also changing for example you are making decisions and the government increases the tax rate right then you have to change your own strategy so it means your decisions is worthless when government changes the tax rate and government changes the tax rate your pricing decisions your your raw material decisions your long-term goals your short-term goals are all disturbed all right if government regulations are frequently changed it means you are 